Today, we will learn about OpenAI Swarm library inside and out. This is a lightweight multi-agent orchestration library, which I'm sure if you try, you will love. We will take a look at many examples from basic chat, function calling, context variables, all the way to a complete platform. All of these files are actually open source and are at my GitHub. You can actually uh, download all of them and learn purposes to actually understand and use and build Swarm-based agentic systems. This is separated into two folders. One is the general examples and one is customer service related examples. First file is basic chat. Essentially, Swarm library is very lightweight. It comes with only three files. Uh, you can use GPT-40 with it. You simply just define your Swarm and define your agents, and you can actually perform just regular chat with it. So you don't need to define actually any tools, but if we were to take a look at the function calling example, it's actually very simple because the Swarm library auto-defines your functions and its definitions from the doc strings. So this makes it really convenient because all you have to do is just define your function, just like in regular, just like as a regular Python function, and just pass it to your agent's function list. That's it. For example, in this case, we are defining uh, get current time, calculate, and get fake weather uh, functions. And when we initialize our agent, we can give it a name, we can choose a model for it, give it some instructions, and here are the functions as a list. And within the chat loop, we just take user input, the beautiful thing actually about uh, Swarm library is that it doesn't try to manage the message history, so you can manage it uh, any way you like. And uh, that's it. And now we just run client run which agent with the message history. For example, let's take a, let's run this and see a quick example. And each one of the examples when you run actually tells you what you can do with this particular agent. Okay, let's ask it current time, the weather in Paris, and some math agent is thinking. As you can see, it actually called this current time function, weather for Paris, and also the uh, function to calculate and return us our results. It's already automatically compatible with parallel function calling. Let's take a look at another example, context variables. This shows how to pass and update context between function calls. Context variables is a pretty useful this actually, this use case actually implements a shopping cart system. Here are some products. And this one actually can pass context variables from one function to next. So when an agent is actually calling a function, it can extract information from the user input and pass it to the uh, functions, for example, or to another agent as context. So let's take a, uh, let's actually run this real quick. And then uh, we'll also take a look at the code. View products, let's say uh, view products. Agent is thinking and calling his function to fetch products. And here is, is our products. Let's say I want to buy uh, the laptop. Let's see what it does. Adding laptop to the shopping cart. Uh, show me my cart, let's ask. And viewing the shopping cart contents. And here it is uh, showing us. Uh, what is in our shopping cart. Let's quickly take a look at how it was achieved. By the way, uh, I also have in my 1000X Cursor course, a full video on how I built this in its entirety. Uh, it's very useful instead of, you know, giving a person a fish, it's best to teach them how to fish. And that's the purpose of that video. Uh, you In that video, you'll be able to see how I actually created this entire tutorial. In essence, making you fully capable of using uh, any GitHub repository and create tutorials for yourself, including advanced uh, implementations of it, as we will see. Link for that will be in the description and in the comment. So this one, uh, as we see, defines a product dictionary, and it has some functions, view cart, add the cart, and all of which actually takes context variables, which is also a dictionary. We also have remove cart function, this products function, and here we are initializing our swarm and defining our agents. We have a shopping assistant who can do certain things and has access to certain functions. Uh, and within the chat loop, again, we just call. So it's very easy, as you can see.
But this time when we run, we run it with the context variables and update the context variable with any changes for that current run. So we will not be in depth reviewing all the code since it's already available uh, at my um, GitHub. You can download and read about it, actually run them and experiment with them yourself. Uh, here's an agent handoff. Here's a, here we define a troubleshooting issue, check payment status, process refund, and we now create actually specialized agents. Here in this case, we create a tech support, billing support. Each one of them has a different set of instructions and can have access to different functions. Transfer the tech support, transfer the billing, and create the main triage agent, agent which can actually transfer the, uh, these two agents. So let's run this and see how this actually works. So uh, we can say hi, for example, and we should just get a regular response. Transfer the support triage. It says, how can I assist you? Let's say I need to talk with technical support. As you can see, we are now transferred to tech support. You are now connected with tech support. Uh, so we were first transferred to support and then to tech support, triage agent with this first one, and then support agent transferred us to tech support. There are also, you can also use uh, streaming responses, uh, you can, parallel tools, of course, it's automatically enabled. Model override, so you can actually uh, specify two different models and switch between them. You can advance context management example with personalized shopping assistant, for example. Complex multi-agent interactions, this is all for customer service and a complete platform uh, with complete set of uh, multi-agent interactions. As you can see, we have a ticket agent, chat agent, and we have some transfer functions. You can define regular functions, also transfer functions. This folder contains all the customer service examples, but in the general example, for example, uh, we have uh, advanced in advanced context, we have an RPG game. See, we have some game constants defined as enemies, locations. We have some functions such as check status, use item. This is for an RPG game, travel to, combat simulation. And uh, we have some agents, the game master. Uh, the game master is going to handle everything for us. So let's go ahead and run this. Uh, for example, travel to the forest, let's say. Game master is responding, initializing new game state, traveling the forest, and then it gives us options. Let's fight. I don't know if we have a foe, but a wild boar. Let's fight a wild boar, and it's, it's starting the combat with wild boar. Uh, let's take a look at our status. Checking player status. Let's see if we incurred any. Okay, our, uh, I guess we did not incur any HP loss. So it's pretty cool. You can build all sorts of interesting uh, things and it, Swarm Library really makes it super easy. Like I said, you can find a video for this on how I built it uh, at my 1000X Cursor course. I actually ran a poll at my um, Patreon to, to see if my patrons were finding my 1000X course useful. And 93% said it's either very useful or useful. And it has many independent chapters. 33, chapter um, four is how to build agents with OpenAI Swarm Library. You can preview any one of the chapters for two minutes. You can also, there, there's also three free chapters you can watch. Each chapter is independent and quick and short. So you can just start anywhere. You can just pick whichever one interests you, such as building memory systems, persona generators, swarm intelligence. There's all kinds of examples, all one coding team project manager. And uh, you can just start learning at your own pace. Um, and as you can see, my patrons find it useful, they say. Also, feel free to visit my website to find all my videos. I've made over 400 free coding videos. And you can find the code download links for each one of them. And if you're a patron, you can get access to them. Well, thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Right now. Listen to me, I've been trying to code, and you know, like, I like coding. The fact that I can code and make things happen, but how do I do it? I mean, fast, with AI, I heard about it, it's easy. So, 
um, I came across Thousand X Cursor Course. And that's great, you know, it just made everything super silky smooth. It just it just worked, I'm, I'm telling you. Uh, Thousand X, your coding. 